How many of us heard the term, you're too cocky? I just thought about something, man. Maybe you're not too cocky. Maybe you simply believe in yourself. You know, cocky means to be arrogant, to think you're better than someone, while confidence means believing in self. So when someone says you're too cocky, just tell them, no, I'm not cocky. I just believe in myself. I'm confident. Deion Sanders had a powerful quote. He said, don't let my confidence offend your insecurities. Yep, 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 yep. Go check out that quote, man. That's a powerful quote. But, man, today, video going to be about just being yourself. So, if you have that self-confidence, don't change that for anyone. No one. Ever. We're going to break this down to two parts, okay? So, part one, we're going to talk about the five things to tell you that you have self-confidence. The first way to know that you have self-confidence is when you accept yourself. No one has to accept you. No one, no one has to validate you. You know you're special. Like, you know, we love compliments, but you don't need it. You know firsthand. You tell yourself. You validate yourself. You tell yourself you're special. So we need that you embrace who you are. You know your strengths. You know your weaknesses. Man, that's special. It is special to know your strengths. It is special to know your weaknesses. It is special. Special. Embrace yourself. Keep on embracing yourself. When you do these things, you are increasing your confidence keep being you forever keep being you forever all right another thing you set goals but you also achieve them you make plans you make a goal plan to execute your goals and accomplish them you're not just saying oh this is my goal i'm gonna pray on it i'm gonna walk by faith no you're saying I'm going to join the fire department. I'm going to graduate the fire academy. I'm graduating the police academy. But you taking steps to do that. You're not saying you're going to graduate the police academy, but you're still smoking. That's not going to work. You're not saying you're going to graduate the police academy, but you're not working out. That's not going to work. So for everybody out here that got goals, it's good to have those goals. But we got to put a plan in place to accomplish our goals. We have to. We must. It's important. It's vital. Accomplishing small goals can even just create a piece of achievement within yourself. Like we need that. We need that sense of achievement within ourselves. It'll motivate you to take the bigger challenge. It will. It will. It will motivate you to take the bigger challenge. So keep that in mind. Always have self-confidence always set and achieve your goals always make a plan to execute always create a goal plan do that next thing positive self-talk it is nothing wrong with talking positively around others it's nothing wrong with replacing negative thoughts with positive thoughts someone always say man i hate i gotta go to work today Meanwhile, you're saying, man, thank God for blessing me with an opportunity to come to work today. It's someone that didn't wake up. It's someone that don't have a job right now and they wish they can work. You're not taking your situation for granted and nothing is wrong with that. You're just a positive person. Keep being positive. Don't change being positive for no one. I promise you, no one. Don't ever let anyone take your positivity out of you. Ever. Keep on replacing those negative thoughts with positive thoughts. Keep on. Keep on affirming your mindset and self-image. Keep on achieving those things that you want to do to become successful. Keep on until you can't anymore. Leave your mark on this earth. 
Like when you leave the room, it should be a dent. It should be a hole in the room. The room should feel empty because you're not in there. That's the type of presence you want to leave behind. Strive for greatness. Gotta strive for greatness. All right, the fourth one, skill development. We all got to work on something, you know. But guess what? My bad, notification going off. We all got to work on something, but guess what? You know you got to work on something. That's how you know you're confident. You know, man, I got to learn a new skill. I got to improve on my existing skills that I know I can sharpen up. I got to do something. I got to do something to make me more confident and capable of achieving a goal. Keep leaving my mark on this world. Simply still believing in myself. So because I believe in myself so much, I'm going to increase my worth. I'm going to start in the gym. I'm going to start reading books. I'm going to start working on my vocabulary. These are things that you have to do to increase your worth, to keep your self-confidence high. Keep doing these things always. Keep developing those skills. They will take you a long way, I promise. All right. The last thing we're going to talk about in this part one to confidence is supportive relationships. Supportive relationships. Surround yourself with positive, encouraging people that can reinforce your beliefs. But also, you can reinforce their beliefs as well. It's like a circle. 3BC. My whole group, 3BC. Brotherhood. We are all positive people. It's not one person in that group that's not positive. It's over 10 of us. Long live Trey. It's over 10 of us. Long live Trey. We all been tight. It's been the same group for a long time. Over 10 years. I promise. It clicks like, like glue. I promise. We all out here striving to be the best. We always pushing each other. Pushing each other. Not competing. Pushing each other. We all are trying to win. We all trying to leave our mark on this world. We all growing together. And it's so important to have that presence around you. So if you don't, I encourage you to find better friends. It would suit you better to find better friends. Find better friends. Become that better friend. What type of friend are you? Are you always negative? Do you have a friend out here trying to change for the better? Or who are you? Do you have a friend that's trying to change for the better, but you're holding them down? They have a goal. You're discouraging them. Not trying to help them create a plan to achieve their goal. Okay, yeah, that goal is hard. Who has the easy goal? No one said being a millionaire was easy. No one said being a doctor was easy. No one said being a police officer was easy. No one said being a teacher is easy. No one said being a parent is easy. Help them. Build a level of confidence to carry out their goal, to carry out their dream. That's who you deserve to be for your fam. Because that's who you deserve to get in return. But the only way we can get what we need in return is if we are that person. So become that person. Become that positive person. Alright man, I love y'all. Nice talk with y'all. This is only part one. Part two is coming soon. Man, how y'all like this new mic, man? I spent, you know, a little something on this mic. Let me know how it sounds. How do y'all like this mic? All right, man. Y'all subscribe. Y'all make sure y'all like this video. If you made it this far, like the video. It helps me reach other people like this. I do this for y'all. I promise you I post and get off. I don't even look at anything. I got my notifications on for comments, but I post and get off. I do my topic and get off. This is for y'all, man. I love y'all. Family. 3C. We out.